you may be asking yourself, is there any way to go to a fabulous place that is filled with endless amounts of pastries and gelato and deliciousness all around and come back from Italy and not gain any weight? Yes, I'm here to tell you there is. So I just got back from a eight day vacation in Italy and did not gain any weight while I was gone. So here are some tips and tricks that I used in order to make sure that I stayed on track with my health and fitness goals while on vacation and traveling around Italy. So number one is being active. You may notice that Italians live a totally different lifestyle and they are extremely active. So a lot of times they're walking to dinner, they're walking after dinner. So on average, I was getting anywhere from 10,000 to 13,000 steps per day. So just making sure that you're getting up, you're walking, you're being active. And this is also something that you can be doing and paying attention to at home. So shooting for opportunities to be more active, get up and walk, and walking after enjoying a super delicious meal that may be a little bit more carb heavy than you're used to. When it comes to nutrition, looking at a menu when you go to Italy, there are things that are an antipasti, a starter, a first course, a second course. Well, when you're reading that menu, you're gonna notice that a lot of the starters for the first dish are going to have a lot more vegetables and fresh food. The first plate is a first course is going to be more carbohydrates, so a lot of pasta dishes. And then the second plate is going to be more meat dishes. Now, I'm here to tell you, I'm in Italy, so I'm looking for delicious pasta and enjoying that with every meal. But what I did is we made sure that we actually split up a lot of those meals. So you will notice portions are smaller than they are here in the US, which is super beneficial, but those can still be shared. So a lot of times you'll notice that people will order their own starter, their own pasta dish, their own meat dish. Well, what I was doing when I was traveling with my partner is we were actually splitting a lot of those dishes and we were completely stuffed and satisfied, especially since with every meal they're giving you tons of bread uh, whenever you're starting that meal. So being able to look at when we were ordering, our starters usually consisted of something that was more of a fresh food. So zucchini flowers, even though they had cheeses, it's a lot of unprocessed cheeses, which is absolutely delicious, fresh vegetables, super tasty. And then going with a pasta dish, splitting a pasta dish, and then also choosing a meat dish. And you will notice that when you're in Italy, there are a lot more options when it comes to your meat dishes that are gonna be a lot more lean protein. So a lot more fresh fish, shellfish. Um, so we went that direction and took advantage and enjoyed a lot of that compared to what we get here in Oklahoma and at home living in the Midwest. So that's the second tip nutrition wise. Third thing was getting in plenty of water. So it's pretty crazy to me that whenever you go to a restaurant and even order, they give you one bottle of water. Well, yes, you are enjoying cocktails, wine, those various things with your meals, but we would actually be ordering a couple of those bottles of water with each meal instead of just one. So making sure that we were staying hydrated, drinking plenty of water throughout the day, and then also with our meals. Next thing is at breakfast. So you will notice um, in all the places that we stayed, it was really awesome because they had complimentary breakfast every morning, which consisted of tons of fresh fruit, tons of delicious pastries and croissants and all the jams and jellies. And then there was usually a little bit of protein. Uh, so we had options of some type of egg. We did have a bacon at most places that was offered. And then they had fresh sliced meat. So um, salami, pastrami, uh, ham, prosciutto, all those great things. So whenever you are even going into breakfast, looking at having some type of protein with your breakfast besides just loading up on all those pastries, and then also being able to incorporate some fruit and also even a fresh green salad as part of your breakfast. I'll post a picture of one of my delicious salads that I actually had for breakfast as well. Something that I think is super beneficial though is everything is so amazingly fresh. Whenever you're traveling to Italy, there is 
minimal things that are processed. So even though you are enjoying tons of delicious breads, we had a sandwich almost every single day in the afternoon as our afternoon snack. We also halved that as well. Um, we just shared a sandwich because they're large. So we would share a sandwich in the afternoon and then if we wanted anything else, like some chips or something with it, we did it. Um, we had delicious basil chips, by the way. So having some of those things, um, but looking at splitting, I said even lunch dishes, having that water throughout the day, and then things not being processed. So what can you choose that is more fresh? They have tons of delicious options when it comes to that, and everything is just very simple and very delicious. So taking advantage of not adding in a lot of extra glazes, fried things, um, asking for things to be more grilled, steamed, broiled, those were key words. Even when you're asking for how you want your fresh fish to be cooked, they grill it, they steam it, they broil it, which is absolutely fantastic. A little bit of fresh olive oil over it and it's super simple, that was it. So those are some things that we used along our trip and that allowed me to enjoy a fabulous eight days in Italy and to come back to the exact same weight that I was whenever I left. So more great tips to come along and um, some secrets to share. So stay tuned and I will talk to you later.